we're in New York. Say hey. Yes. We made it to the hotel. Let me show y'all the view. We are on the 37th floor. And right across is Dallas Barbecue. Oh, that's where we going. So regular decala. Hilton. Alright y'all, so we just got out the hotel and this is where we're gonna eat right across the street. Alright y'all, we made it. Definitely gonna get the sticky wings. Mm -mm -mm. Everywhere. I think I'm gonna stay in tomorrow. Just let you guys bring me. Just give you yeah, you are probably like. Come on, guys. We got our drinks. Got my extra shots. Look at these wings, y'all. You see how fast the food came too? Yeah, they just heated up. Up, oh, stop. I'm tipsy. Why did I get the extra shot? Why? Thankfully, we only across the street. Good morning from New York. Let's see if people are down. Oh, I hear honking already, and it's eight thirty. I hear honking already and it's 8 30. Mm -hmm. All right, outfit details coach pillow tabby. Y'all know I got my gold accessories. And then I'm wearing my Tory Burch Kira sport sandals. And then I have on my Sheen two-piece set. Nice and colorful and flowy. We're gonna go to um, this breakfast spot we went to last time we came here. We're gonna go back, but first we're gonna go downstairs because we have like a credit for the marketplace. So we're gonna see if they have anything. That's worth $35. We need to spend it because we get $35 a day. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. So I'm just waiting for my Nina baby to get ready. She already got out the shower. So we wait. All right, so we are in the market. Seeing what we can pick up from in here before we go out and like actually get um, food. But they have a good variety of stuff. Definitely will add up to um, $35 real quick. So this is the get water, poppies, Celsius, a good variety. All right, y'all, so this is New York at 9.30. We are on our way to um, this diner. We're about like 10 minutes away, it's a 10 minute walk. So we'll get there and eat all the good foods. Yeah. A lot of people are already out already, ready to get their day started. I love New York. Yes, I do. I just love being in New York. 
Can't you tell? It's just a glow. A real glow. Oh my God. All right, we made it to Andrew's Diner. go to Macy's and then we're gonna cross and go over there. You need under a shade. Ooh, yeah, all these I'm birds. Under the yeah. What is this? Oh, Long Champ. And then Louis. Ooh, let's look at coat. Watch, they don't have my bag again. I like this one too. This is a good size. Probably not on this side. Tabby 33. Going up the escalator. I see Louis V. Okay. Let's get the print. Tajay. In Target, they have the Tiger bags, the dupes. I have the white version. These are cute. Okay, the gold. Yes, it's like a thicker. Yep, it looks just like you. No, I gotta check out the Legos. Pina Colada is the best one. I like these. You see any Jasmine's? See it? Yeah. Well then. Okay, why didn't I sneak it in my dress? Hmm? Okay. Say hi. Hey. Oh, let's go. Cross please. And wide street. We 
made it back to the home city. All right, y'all, up from our nap. Me and mommy about to hit the streets. We gonna get some New York pizza from my favorite spot, Two Bros. It's like a six, seven minute walk. And then, yeah, we're just gonna walk around. The sun is going down, so I'm sure more people will start to come outside. But yep. Yep, you can see the little ants walking. Mommy, we didn't go into this Target either. All right, this is the outfit. Hopefully my mommy can take another good picture of me later. Go get them. All right, y'all, we back outside in these New York streets. Yeah, and then on, this should be on 38th Street. Got my comfy Vermeeros on today. Have you ever had a um, hot dog from New York? No. Me either. Only pizza. Never had a hot dog. That be at those little corners. Yeah. Oh, I just love this city. And then we gotta find Junior. Oh yeah. I know that gotta be close. Cause that's all. If I see another print, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's all we had for breakfast in London. No more. No more. Say hi. hi. Love New York. Two bros. Let me record. So good. Just ordered. I know. That's teriyaki in New York. Looks good to me. I might try this tomorrow. Devour that chicken teriyaki. We ain't even eat the pizza yet. But mommy, why you carry on like that? Like what? With that chicken teriyaki. Oh, it was so good. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Just like that, we are back outside on Times Square. They be hustling, trying to get people rides. So we just have to go um, up a block. But people is outside now, y'all. Outside. And 
And then this one, they be having Aladdin. Right here? Yeah. Good morning, NYC. It is Saturday morning. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. Y'all see this glow? Y'all see this glow? But no, for real. Um, I just went downstairs to drop off my mom and my aunt. Their flight is today. Mine is tomorrow. So I have an extra day to just have a solo self-care Saturday. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to take y'all along with me. Um, I just got back upstairs. Um... I'm gonna actually shower and change into something else. I just needed something to go downstairs and look presentable as I see them off. So I'm gonna just chill for a little bit. When um, housekeeping comes, they come a little bit after eight. That's when I'll like get ready, actually shower and put on my other outfit and then take myself to breakfast. I was doing some research. I found um, a breakfast spot that I wanna try. I think it's like a seven minute walk, something like that. So. We'll be doing that a little bit later, but I just wanted to say, hey, happy Saturday. Make sure y'all are taking care of y'all selves. Self-care Saturday is a must, okay? And then, yeah, we gonna have fun. <laughs> also, um, it was my fault. Like when I booked the room, I booked a king bed. So it was only enough space for my mom and my aunt. So then they had like a rollout bed and it was actually pretty comfortable. So, and it was $50 extra a night, but I don't need it of course tonight because my people's left. So now I'm gonna have this bed to myself. So I went downstairs and told them, y'all could come get this and refund me my $50. Cause they already charged me for three nights when I only needed for two. So yeah, they need to come and get this. And then while I'm out and about, they can, you know, tidy up the room and stuff like that. I already packed um, most of my stuff, my last outfit um, that I'm going to wear later on today when I go to like lunch or dinner, whatever, is that denim dress there. And then that outfit is for the airport tomorrow. And that's the outfit that I'm going to wear. So, yeah, we get in there like nice and tidy and organized. But like I said, I'm about to take out these clothes, wait for housekeeping to come in like 30 minutes, and then I'll actually start getting ready to head out. But yeah. All right, shoes. You would think that I didn't iron this freaking two piece, but it's the material. <laughs> Crazy. But all right, y'all. 
ready to hit the streets. It's not really a lot of people out there, so I'm gonna go now. Outfit is my two-piece sheen set. And then a little bralette. And then I got like my Kurt Geiger set. So sandals and this is the bag. So let's go out and get some breakfast. All right, I made sure to add my earpiece in so I can listen to some music while I walk. Or sightsee, to be honest, because I'm gonna record some stuff. So, people see my headphones, do not talk to me. <laughs> All right, housekeeping is on my floor, which is good. All right, y'all, heading to my first destination, which is taking the city to eat. Gotta get to um, 9th Avenue. But it feels good outside. It's not too busy. And not open it to people, that's for sure. This is the city of the city. Got another round of food. Heading back to the hotel. And almost to the hotel. So yeah. I felt like I went to sleep for like a second. <laughs> but y'all, these people still ain't come and get this roll away bed. And I'm like, y'all charge me $50 every day from this morning. I told y'all to come take this. When I go back downstairs, when I go back outside, I'm gonna ask them again, are y'all coming to pick this up or are I just gonna wait for tomorrow? Because y'all not gonna charge me another $50 when I don't need it. And I keep telling them I don't need it. When the housekeeper came, I told her, okay, let me call my manager. Took a nap and all, still here, no effort. But anyways, about to eat some of this food um i didn't get to vlog earlier when i went out i was talking to my brother because he wanted me to get him some pizza from um the pa the place that we went to yesterday and then i got chicken teriyaki again to eat now basically because really i just want some french fries and a drink from across the street and then that's it but um for now what i'm gonna do is for now what i'm gonna do is is um do some self-reflection um in my journal because i brought it but i didn't have a chance to like have quiet time so i'm gonna do that right here at this desk do my um quiet time and just do like some reflecting because i haven't um wrote in my journal in a while and that's one thing i want to bring back doing starting you know next week like journaling I want to aim for every day, even if it's little nuggets, little thoughts, but I want to get back into journaling. So that's something that I want to take the time out now. I'm going to turn off the TV and just lock in with myself and just pour out my emotions, how I'm feeling. And I encourage y'all to do the same thing. I'm going to get my um, tripod so I can like prop y'all up so we can talk for a little bit. Y'all want my... um storage thing came up i know i have a lot of content i have about two vlogs two three vlogs actually of content so this is how you know this trip coming to an end because tomorrow i'm gonna at least take off one of the clips one of the vlogs and work on that when i get back home but i have so much content on my phone so i knew like i was gonna run out of storage but um yeah, so I just I just want to lock back in with myself and like 
just me like I don't know how to explain it but I just want to have boundaries do things that make sense for me like I want to think more logical about like my future and stuff like that so I want to lock in I keep saying it but I want to lock in with myself and I just want to take some time to just like focus on my single season because I feel like it's not gonna be for long um, I feel like I'm attracting a lot of um, intentional people if that makes sense but then I know like for me I'm also okay with like because of the work that I already did on myself it's like I know what to cut off like what's not for me but then I know okay this is what I deserve this is the energy I need let's see how it goes so I feel like I'm in my what's the word pruning season I guess I don't know I don't know I'm just talking and I just woke up so I'm just like all over the place but um but I feel like my single days are coming to an end. I'm about to run into my life partner and we about to do this empire together. Like, I feel like I'm good, but I feel like I'm gonna be even better when I'm with my right partner. And that's why it's so important to choose the person wisely to invest in, give your body to, um, give your time to, you know, like everything is an investment. So. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like back in that zone, back in that mode, like, don't play with me, like, we about to, I'm about to get in my zone, like, in my zone, and I feel like a social media pause is about to come, but I'm gonna still do my YouTube and stuff like that, but I just feel like being on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, I, I ain't got time for all of that, like, I'm gonna still, of course, do my vlogs, bring y'all along with me, but... I feel like it's lock-in season, probably for a good three months, to be honest. Because when is the next quarter? When does quarter three start? I feel like that's coming up. Or did it start already? <laughs> I don't know, but your girl ready to lock in. Like, this trip was very enlightful. That's another thing I want to do. I guess, I guess I could talk about it in this vlog. Yeah my experiences but i want to do that when i'm back you know in my hometown um right in my beauty room sipping on some of the drink and get, having like a girl talk chit chat with y'all but um just know that i loved how today went it was just self-care i'm still gonna go um out and about and do stuff but this trip was very insightful in a lot of ways just with different conversations i had um, different topics of conversation I had, I should say, um, experiences, um, good and bad, you know? So, I feel more growth coming, and I'm excited for it. So, that's why I want to, like, I'm, I knew I brought my notebook for a reason, because I knew I was going to make time to um, have some quiet time, and the time is now. So, I'm going to do that, and I'll pick y'all up when I um, hit the streets again. And then I told you I already packed up most of my stuff. So your girl, you know, it's coming towards the end of the trip. I've been away for, what, 10 days from the 10th? What's today, the 18th or the 19th? Yeah, it's, it's time to go back, <laughs> back to reality. But yeah, y'all. all right new york you've been good to me it's about to be like 10 30 i gotta check out at 11 i'm all packed up over there duffel suitcase and then my um personal item my tote and this is my outfit i have to put my jeans over my leggings because i don't want any issues with jet blue saying oh it's too heavy so i packed 
a lot of stuff in my carry-on so my duffel gonna be a little bit heavier but who trying to pay a hundred and fifty dollar fee not me but um i'm gonna go to the little um cafe area that i went to the other day um in the hotel and just see what i can grab i can't really get any um drinks because I'm going to the airport so um i'm probably gonna get like a croissant and whatever my $35 can get me, that's what I'm gonna get um, with that credit that they gave me. So yeah, ready to go. So I got that. Yeah, they brought me a microwave yesterday. I didn't know you just had to request it, but this was the room. It was the king suite on the high floor. This is definitely great for like one person and you know, maybe a couple. Y'all would be fine. Um, yeah, it's spacious. It's an older hotel, so a lot of stuff like just looks old about it, especially the bathroom. But I mean, it did what it had to do for my time here. I was safe. Walls are very thin though, so take that into consideration because there was a family next door to me. And them kids, I heard them kids, not like all night, like they went to sleep, but like throughout the day when I wasn't out and came back home, they were definitely loud but yeah so i'm done with the room i'm gonna go get me something to eat and then call this um lift i'll just be at the airport real early but i don't mind I'm here. I know you miss me. 